now we'll do the next step for the first session that is to trigger the adop when the purchase order is created for that first we'll do all the edi adop object configuration after that we'll check master data and we'll do the output determination so for the edi adop configuration here for this scenario i'm going to use message type orders and the adop type order 05 in my first course on ad adop i explained the complete configuration of message type matmas that is triggering the adop when the metal master is created and in that i have explained in details all this object what is message type what is adop type what are segments so it's better if you first go through the first course that is early adopt configuration for matmas the basic concept will be clear so here for this edi configuration i am going to use message type orders adopt type order 05 and as a step for configuration first we have to create a logical system with t code cell or bd54 then we have to assign the newly created logical system to our client and then you have to create a rsc destination for the receiver system you have to create a rfc port and then you have to create the partner profile so all these steps will do one by one so here all my configuration i will be doing for this vendor that is 10 3421 this you can check if in ec system sk03 or if you are doing in esfarhana then check the vendor id with the t code bp that is business partners so i will be triggering idop for this vendor and just to check the message type go to w81 click on positions click on orders so here you can see this message type is used for purchase order slash orders go to w82 transaction to check the adopt type here again enter the message type as orders and you can see again this order there are different basic types 010203 so always go with the latest one so here i will be going with the order 05 let's first create the logical system with the t code cell or bd54 and the t code as cell expand the basic settings expand logical system click on define logical system the table is cross client here click on new entries so here i am creating logical system as sender and we can give any id here and i'm giving the name as po sender click on save edi config save in a request now created a logical system the next step is to assign this logical system to our client for that click on assign logical system to client here this is my client which i am going to use here i will assign my newly created logical system as sender click on save go back so here we have created logical system as sender and we have assigned logical system to our client next step we have to create a rsc destination for the receiver system receiver partner for that go to transaction code sm59 as i'm doing all configuration for sap to sap for that you have to create rfc destination with a connection type as app select this and click on create rfc destination here you can give any id for reference so take example if you have 
or multiple vendors for all your doing the configuration. So it is better to create a RSC destination with the vendor ID so that it is easy to remember. You can give any name, but just for simplicity, I'm using the vendor ID as the RSC destination and enter description given testing receiver system. In the target host, you have to enter the IP address of the receiver system where we want to send this detail. For this, I'll copy my IDS system IP address here and instance number I'm going to use as 00. Target host and enter instance number as 00. Then click on log on and security tab. Here we have to enter the user ID of the receiver system, which we are going to use. Enter the password and click on save button. After that, do connection test. If the user ID and password is right, system uh, connection, should, uh, connection test will be successful. So if you click on connection test, here we can see the connection test is successful. If it is not success, if any error, you will see some error here. So now we have created this RSC destination. Maintain all the details in your PPT or Excel sheet for reference. So next we have to create the RSC port. For RSC port is, we have to use Tico W21. RSC port is through which the communication is done. For creation of RSC port, RSC port is created on top of the RSC destination. Go to Tico W21, select transition RFC and click on create account. Generate the port name automatically, system will automatically generate a port number. So you can see the port is created ending with 5. Let's say port for RSC destination 103421. And here we have to select our RSC destination either through this or if you number directly enter the number here. Support is A or 0 ending with 5. Also note on this port number for our future reference. The next step is we have to create a partner profile with transition code WE20. So after creating port, go back and enter T code WE20. In WE20, here we can see different partner profiles. So first you have to create for the vendor. For that, select this partner profile, partner type LI, that is vendor, and click on create icon. Here partner number, you have to enter the vendor ID. That is 103421. And select a partner type as LI, that is vendor. Here, Enter the user ID through which we will log in. Click on save button. It will cost 103421. Yeah, it is same 103421. Once we save, so here we can see this credit outbound parameter is enabled. As this we are doing in the sender system. Through this system, the data will be outbound to the receiver. So here in this step, you have to maintain all the outbound parameters. Click on insert and select the first partner role as VN, that is vendor. Message type as we are going to use orders. The receiver port, which we have created in previous step, A or 0, 5. And the basic type, as I explained, we are going to use basic type orders 0, 5.
Here, select Transfer IDOC immediately. Now, after this step, click on Message Control. This is a very important step, which is not required if you are configuring the MetaMask or Master Data. Here, click on Insert Pro. In the Message Control, select the application as we are doing for purchase order. So, application for that is EF. In the message type, you have to select the output type which will get triggered when the purchase order is created. The standard type is NEU. If you have any custom one, use that one. So, I am going with a standard output message type NEU. I am using the standard EDI message type. In the process code, select ME10 that is purchase order. Then click on EDI standards. Here, Press F1 to see the details. As we are going with the EDI standard EDI effect, select E here. Message type, select orders. And the version is F1 and enter the same value as it is 091001. Click on save button. Go back. Once you maintain the details, you can see the partner role and the message type here. So we have done with the last configuration of EDI and we have created partner profile for our vendor, the partner type EI. So let me enter the same name here, partner profile 10, partner profile is 103421. So in this way, we have done with the first configuration step that is configuration of EDI objects. Next we will check what master data details are required for this step.